Hi there, it's Professor Smith, and I would like to show you how to graph a system of linear inequalities on your homework. The example I have is 15x plus 25y is less than or equal to 1500, and x is greater than or equal to 0, and y is greater than or equal to 0, which those last two are non-negativity constraints which will restrict our solution set to the first quadrant. So I'm going to go over to my graph now, and I'm going to click the magnifying glass to enlarge it so that I can select the line tool. And the first thing I'm going to do is graph my non-negativity constraints. I'm going to start off by graphing two points on the vertical axis for the line x equals 0. Technically, to the right of that should be shaded, but I'm going to hold on or hold off on the shading until I get all the lines on. So now I'm going to go and click my line tool again and I'm going to click on two lines on the horizontal axis to graph the line y equals zero and technically above this line would be shaded. So right now the feasible set or solution set or where all the shading is overlapping is in the upper right hand section of the graph. Now I'm going to click on the line tool for the first inequality that they gave me, which was 15x plus 25y is less than or equal to 1500. That has, let's see, if I plug in x equals 0, then I get y equals 60. So 0, 60 should be my first point on the graph, and then if I plug in 0 for y, I get x equals 100. So 100 comma 0 should be my second point on the line. And the inequality was less than or equal to. So if I put 0, 0 into that inequality, I get true on the left side of this sloped line. So I'm going to click the region shading tool or the paint bucket and I'm going to click in the area that I want shaded. That's where all the shading overlaps. And that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time.